So, uh, Comic Universe, today we got some interesting news for Godzilla vs. Kong, which is coming out next year, uh, following the next chapter of the MonsterVerse, which is going to pit Godzilla and Kong in a battle that may leave one dying. Uh, if, of course, the uh, promos are true. Now, today it was revealed at a uh, licensing group, which I'm not going to post on here because, yeah, that'd probably get us all, that would probably get us uh, uh, some nasty grams from Legendary, let's just say that. But basically, um, there was an expo, and one of the images we saw that was put out there was the image of Kong and Godzilla fighting, and we get the official title of Godzilla vs. Kong. That's what it's going to be called. And there's a tagline to the film called One Will Fall. Now, that's interesting. Now, remember, in the, the Adam Wingard, the director for Kong vs. Godzilla, or Godzilla vs. Kong, is a has said that there will be a definitive winner in this movie. There will be a winner to this film. And it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I'm very curious because Kong and Godzilla have their respective fan bases. As you guys know, I'm more of a Godzilla fan than a Kong fan. But there's something telling me that Kong might win this, like he did in the previous 1960s film. Now, hear me out. You're probably wondering, well, there's no way Kong can win. Like, there's no way they're going to let Kong beat Godzilla. I would disagree, and it's not for the reasons you think. I think they're going to have Kong win and Godzilla lose for one reason. Marketing. You see, as you got, as most of you guys know, uh, Legendary and Toho have this deal that the uh, license for Godzilla, uh, for Legendary at least, only goes until the end after Kong vs. Godzilla. And we also know that Toho is going to be making... Uh, Godzilla films starting 2021. They're going to be starting a, sh cin a new Toho cinematic universe with all with um, classic kaiju and new kaiju, much like how the MonsterVerse is doing. Now, Kong doesn't have that same problem. Kong isn't shared. The license for Kong isn't shared by anybody. It's not shared by either um, by either. Uh, Toho or anybody else. Legendary has the cinematic rights, although they're kind of sharing it with Universal. Uh, it's a the, the Kong the rights to Kong have always been slippery slope, but for right now, Legendary has the rights to this version of Kong. So Kong has doesn't have that problem. He doesn't have to go anywhere. Um, he really doesn't have to go uh, back to Universal or anything of that nature. He doesn't really have to go anywhere. Um, Kong, Legendary can keep Kong as long as they wish. So Kong, not Godzilla, may be the face of the MonsterVerse should it do well. And I know what you're thinking, but Deadpoolzilla, the, 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 the Rotten Tomatoes, they're really bashing, you know, you know, the critics are really bashing that movie, it may not do well. Chillax, bro. Chillax. You don't know the power of Godzilla fans. You also don't know the power of summer blockbuster films. Because remember, um, these guys, you know, film critics... I was looking at, like, some of the Rotten Tomatoes... I'm actually going to talk about that. I'm going to go into a bit of a rant here. So, if you guys haven't been keeping up, uh, Godzilla vs. Uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters has been getting slammed by critics. It's gotten, like, I think last call 45% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is part of the course of most Godzilla films, even the really good ones have been, uh, outside of Gojira, have been really shit on by critics. Mostly because, and I shit you not, the main argument, you know, the main complaint is, oh, well, there's too much monster action and not enough people. Really? Because I distinctly remember you guys bitching and moaning about too much people stuff and not, em not enough monster action. So, uh, y'all can go suck it, for all I care. Uh, critics can go suck it. You know, Rotten Tomatoes was wrong about Last Jedi. Uh, they were wrong about several other films um, that I think they got so they shit on sorely. So I don't take uh, Rotten Tomatoes at you know. I'll take my own goddamn opinion. You know, thank you very much. When you say, "Oh, there's too much monster action in it," that's like telling a Godzilla fan, "Hey, this movie has too much porn. You want you want to not watch it? No, 
Okay, let's move on. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I don't know where I went with that analogy, but it wasn't any place good. <laughs> I, I had something, and I immediately lost it. I apologize. Ooh, that was bad. Anywho. So, going back to Kong vs. Godzilla, you know, getting back on that track, uh, on that train of thought, the big thing you have to look at is that Godzilla, you know, while it is, there will be a definitive winner, it isn't going to be like, oh, you know, we have to, you know, we're going to fight and then something's going to break us up, like the military or another kaiju is going to break us up. No, it is definitive that there is going to be, one of them will stand and one shall stand and one shall fall. That's the whole... Uh, thing we're looking at right here with this, you know, with this uh, kaiju throwdown. And honestly, I could care less who wins. It's gonna, you know, as the crossover guy and the guy who really loved King, Kong, the original King Kong versus Godzilla. It's not perfect. Let me be clear. It's not a good. It's not a perfect film. Let's be real. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I'm very much looking forward to seeing these two monsters fight after how many so years and to see something that we didn't think we'd see again yeah i'm very much um looking forward to this kind of um straight up monster action i don't really care if there if there aren't any other monsters in here uh all i care about is seeing kong and godzilla throw down i know a lot of people are saying oh well Ghidorah, you had mothra rodan and Ghidorah and king of the monsters you know why um why are you, you know, why do people have to, you know, uh, have a step down from, you know, to Kong, who's just a big monkey? It's Kong! It's King freaking Kong! The second biggest kaiju in media next behind, uh, next to, uh, Godzilla. And yes, Kong did technically start the kaiju, uh, phenomenon in, with his, with the film in the 30s, and then Godzilla kind of capitalized on that in 54, but still, King Kong can hold his own movie. And having them fight, it's like having Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson of Kaiju throw down. Again. I say again because they're, you know, they fought in the 60s and it was a whole thing. Anyway, the other thing is why I think the MonsterVerse has a safe bet of happening is that there was this brief mention in King of the Monsters that there are 17 other Kaiju. 17 original monsters that can still hold their own film. Yeah, it's de it's pretty obvious that, you know, we could definitely still get um, a lot of MonsterVerse films and still have Kong now at the forefront, much like how, you know, there's a, there could be a uh, safe bet that, well, actually, it's not a safe bet, it's confirmed that, like, Captain Marvel and Spider-Man are the new heads of the MCU. Kong can be the new face of the MonsterVerse, which I'm fine with. I mean, would I like it to be Godzilla? Yeah, but he's going to go back to Toho and start another cinematic universe. So, yay. And again, keep in mind, this is all my theory. This is all a big theory, and I could be totally wrong. Godzilla wins, and Toho's like, you can still do your Godzilla, fam. We're going to do our own so we can have a, you know, double shared universe of Godzilla. Godzilla has his own monster verse, and we're going to do our own. I doubt that's what's going to happen. But again, I could be totally flat out wrong in that regard. I could be totally flat out wrong um, in that uh, in that sense. So that's the uh, big thing you have to look at is that I could be to this is all just hearsay and just me giving my thoughts on on this situation. Would I like to see Godzilla in the MonsterVerse continually? Yeah, but like I said, that deal is very much like uh, Toho deals are very much like set in stone when they happen. But again, you know, the numbers uh, for uh, King of the Monsters opening weekend is a uh, very um, uh, are very are projected to look very good. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing uh, where, where this could go, honestly. So yeah, so you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of Godzilla vs. Kong? Do you think Godzilla will be the winner, or do you think Kong will be the winner? And are you hopeful for the MonsterVerse, as well as the Toho Cinematic Universe coming in 2021? As always, if you're new here, uh, remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe to this video, and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the Universe.